And I gotta tell you, I've strained my back and my neck more times than I ever should have. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Back with another one. Uh, this installment today is Snoopy Eats Fault. Once again, I was laying in bed about 9 a.m., feeling a little hungry, had my crave on, but for what I didn't know, and he dropped a fresh video eating a double teen burger, and he put the seed in my brain once I had it. I couldn't go anywhere else, so I needed to get some teen burgers from A&W. Lately, I've just been on a poutine kick, you know, paying heritage homage to my Canadian heritage is what I mean, and uh, I'm excited for it, so can't wait to get into this video. Also, I just got to ask you guys a couple little burning questions that are on my mind. They're very serious, because you guys know how serious I am, <laughs> but real, real shit, I do need to <laughs> ask you guys something, so let's get straight into it. So, before we do anything more, of course, we must pour, get our iceberg ready and settled. Today, we are going in with the full-fledged sugar root beer from a w because, honestly, a w root beer is just that magical, and it's just something you don't disrespect. You don't not get the uh, full delicious root beer when you order yourself some A&W. Cheers. Magic. Absolute magic. Okay, these burgers are looking picturesque if I ever saw so myself. And we're gonna get rid of the baby bottom bum diaper bonnets. Uh, I need to go in for a burger first and foremost before anything. I know that poutine is very time sensitive <clears throat> and heat sensitive, but uh, today, for a few hours now, it's just been burgers upon my mind, so we gotta do it to them. with the big bites amazing it's exactly what I was looking for everything I was looking for Yes, 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 yes. I feel like I did A&W fairly recently, and I feel like my same foods get recycled a lot on, on the channel. I do apologize for that. But at the same time, when you crave, it's just so hard to veer away from those craves also I just can't wait to get back into a situation where I can actually do like proper grocery shopping and get back to cooking and cook myself like real cool different style meals for the channel now here right here that carved out middle bite with all the fixings that's the bite this is the magical moment where it all comes together. Man, that was perfect. The mustard, the onions, the pickles, the ketchup, the bacon, the cheese. That was the bite. So, when it comes to the things that I have to ask you or say, I'm going to say one thing first.
but it's also kind of a question. Because I want to know if these things, this thing specifically, messes with you, freaks you out, really grinds your gears, you know? So, as I dive in to this magical treat known as a poutine, I will tell you if you are a mukbanger or ASMR person, or you do anything with food where we're ever going to see your nails or hands close up. Please, for the love of the Lord, clean or preferably trim your nails, okay? I've been thinking about this for a long time. It always happens to me. I'll just be watching a video. It'll be pretty enjoyable. It'll be all good. And then boom, I just get hit with a nasty set of nails. Ain't nothing. Ruin some food content quicker than some dirty, long, nasty, nails, okay? To my viewers, has this happened to you? Does this happen to you? Does it freak you out? Does it not? Freaks me right out. I pride myself on keeping my shit too legit to quit. With these videos, they're very up close and personal. It's all in the details. I get concerned when my facial hair starts getting a little crazy. Currently, it's not that great. It's not too bad. I was thinking about touching it up, but the food was getting here quicker than I had anticipated. The next thing I need to know And I don't know if this is just my stupid lazy ass or whatever, but it happens to me far too often in my life. But do you ever get in a situation where you're like, you're chilling, right? You're very comfortable. You're relaxing. You are at max relax capacity. Right? And you drop something like, oh, I don't know, your phone or the remote control. And said Im immediately important object lands in a precarious place, down the side of a crack, behind you somewhere, in a, in a reachable place, but an awkwardly just out of reach, reachable place. Are you with me? So, it's in that place, taunting you, it knowing that you need it to continue being lazy or entertained, right? And uh, because you're in a state of ultimate chill, right? You decide that you don't wanna get up or flip over or reposition yourself 
to make the retrieval of said needed item easier on yourself. So you go reaching for the object in some sort of strange, unorthodox, unnatural, twisted-ass way that your body does not want to go. And, man, this looks so freaking good. This is picture perfect. Wow. And... As you're reaching for the object, you can feel your musculoskeletal things stretching in ways that they are not supposed to. And you know that within that few inches, you're so close, you could get it if you just give it your all, you know, push it to the limit, you can get it, but there's so much tension on a muscle or whatever that you know if you do that, there's a good chance you're going to actually tear, pull, strain something and end up in extreme pain, all because your lazy ass wouldn't get up. Or twist around to get it and I gotta tell you I've strained my back and my neck <laughs> more times than I ever should have in my life from that very particular <laughs> scenario so I'm intrigued Am I the only lazy dumbass or do you suffer from this same dumb problem that I do? The world's deep mysteries, burning questions. I can't be the only one, can I? <laughs> Am I? What is life? Life is a box of chocolates, and you never know which muscle you're going to pull next. It's that simple. So please, let me know down below. How far would you go for the remote? I'm a chiropractor's dream. <clears throat> what a great meal. Went down too clean, too smooth. Super deluxe on the palate. There's nothing wrong to be said about that. That was nice, neat Christmas wrapping bow on top. It's very evident that I enjoyed that one. Hope you did too. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. <laughs>